Known as one of the world's best safari destinations, Kenya offers a scenic landscape with 50 epic national parks and reserves that are home to diverse wildlife. With a population of 54 million, more than 60 languages are spoken in Kenya. Kisi is about 300 kilometers west of the capital of Nairobi and is home to the country's first Adventist school, the Mawara Adventist School for the Deaf. This school was started by a man who became an Adventist in 2012. It was difficult for him to run the school on his own, so he gave it to the local Adventist leadership. The leaders accepted the school with a vision for the future. We want to have a modern school for the deaf, which, is, uh, which will be a model school for the entire division, because we want to make a facility which is uh, modern, which is good, which anyone will want to bring their child. With this vision, church leaders took serious action to offer quality Christian education to the deaf population. Then the conference gathered some money, resources, and they started to put up structures, classrooms for them. They put up the first two classrooms, then later they added two more, they, were, they became six, with an office and a staff room. The two classrooms were turned into a dormitory where the learners started to live from. So they are staying in two classrooms, one for the female and the other one for the male. Currently, the school has 64 students. Some are rejected by their family and hidden in their homes. Some people believe deaf children are cursed and bring shame to their families. We, fetch, we source them from the house, we bring them to the school, we pay for their meals, we give them a uniform, and they stay with our other, other learners in the school. These students often come from poor backgrounds. Some of them are HIV AIDS positive. The school is the safest place for them. It's a place where they can develop a relationship with God. The institution is run by the Adventist Church. They have a supper school, they have a divine service, they have an afternoon program. They have midweek prayers, they have Friday Vespers. So it is organized in such a way that the learners are nurtured spiritually by the teachers. We thank you because we are being taught very well. Our teachers teach us very good. They help us to know about Jesus and to learn about the Bible. Every school has its challenges. For this school, the challenge is to complete the construction of a new dormitory that was halted due to funding. In school here, yeah, presently we have no dorm, but dorm in school under construction. Presently the dorm is soon about to be finished. They currently use one of the classrooms as one for girl child, another for the boy child to accommodate them for the sleep for the night. But the room is too small. So we have made, 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 tried, tried to make much effort to make our dormitory complete so that we can move the beds to our large space dormitory. It can be difficult to operate a school, but even in the midst of difficulty, there is always a reason to praise the Lord. The Lord has been with us. If not the Lord, we are not able to pay teachers. We are not able to provide for the learners. We are not able to provide for our schools to continue doing in the same, same way. So the Lord has just really shown. The Lord has shown His able hands. Part of your 13 Sabbath offerings this quarter will help finish their dormitory and build a multi-purpose hall so students can have a safe place to study. Thank, Thank you for supporting Mission Overing for this school. Rwanda, a nature lover's paradise, is known as the land of a thousand hills. It has one of the youngest populations in the world, with the average age being 19 years. 
Introducing the gospel through education is one way to reach this group. Goma College of Health Sciences at the Goma campus of the Adventist University of Central Africa is situated about 150 kilometers from Kigali, the country's capital. The college offers a bachelor's degree and a diploma in nursing and midwifery. Located at 1,800 meters above sea level and overlooking Kivu Lake, the campus provides a beautiful environment for learning. Where it's located, there are no much distractions. When you come here, you know you've come to learn, so you just sit and focus on your studies. Over the years, the school has accepted international students. The college plans to expand and add more courses. With this plan, the school is greatly in need of a new dormitory to house the additional students. Uh, the universities are looking how to run other departments in this campus. And according to the number of the students we have here, we are not able to accommodate them if you add those departments, it will be difficult to us to accommodate all those students. And as we have seen, we are in the village and we are receiving international students. We are those international students, they will not go to stay outside. They need where to stay here. So that's why you need those uh, dormitories here. Offering additional courses will not only benefit the college, but also the surrounding community. An increase in student enrollment will mean more job opportunities for those living in areas nearby. Goma College of Health Sciences of AUCA is a respectable campus and applicants need to have a high passing score on the government issued exams in order to be accepted. Although other educational institutions may be cheaper, more students come to study at the Adventist College because it offers something other schools don't provide. I think Aoka is different from different universities. Here, when you're here, you feel more like uh, a Christian student. And that changes because we come from different families, different backgrounds. We don't get the chances, you know, to be told about the Bible, to be taught about God. And from the name Aoka Adventist University of Central Africa, you really feel that presence of God in their academics. The nursing program is well known because of the highly experienced faculty members. There is a need for a new girls dorm to cater to the many new students enrolling in the program. The good thing is that they are, if it's a nursing institution, they are nurses too. So they know much about nursing. They have experience in nursing. So when they are teaching us, it's like, it's something that they have lived. So it's easier for us to understand and to learn. And they, they really help us get what we came for here. As this school strives toward excellence, please pray for the faculty, students, and staff in Ngoma College of Health Sciences at the AUCA campus. Pray that this school will hold up its Christian values so that more students will come to know Christ. Your support of a new dormitory through the 13 Sabbath offering this quarter will make a difference in their lives. Thank you for supporting Mission.